Okay, now you mentioned the Iraqi Christian Relief Council, which you are the president. Uh, tell me just the, the roots and how this whole organization became, became you know, into being, and yes. what was your heartbeat for this organization? The Iraqi Christian Relief Council was formed in 2007 when I asked Cardinal Francis George, what is the Catholic Church doing for the Christians of Iraq? And he said, this is your calling. Why don't you start an organization that raises awareness and uh, teaches Americans who you are and what your plight is? And the Lord has blessed us. You know, Byron, I wrote a letter to God that day. And I said, Lord, I just wanted to be a link in this chain. I did not know you would put this on my heart and on my shoulders. And I was afraid. This is so big. And still there are days that I'm afraid of the connections I'm making and how important they are. And I asked the Lord, you lead me because I don't really exactly know what I need to do with each individual. And we raise money for food, shelter, medicine, clean water. I have to say the Lord has blessed us to be able to help 130,000 Christians in four months to be fed to stay warm in Iraq itself. And now we're, we're trying to find avenues to help those in Syria. Uh, we travel throughout the country. Uh, if you want us to come into your parish, to your congregation, please let us know. We will do so. Uh, we will be happy to do so. We have a presentation that we give. I'm also the executive producer for a movie called Sing a Little Louder. You can learn more about, uh, more about that on singloudermovie.com. Singloudermovie.com. There will be a link of this uh, on our own website, iraqichristianrelief.org, iraqichristianrelief.org. Sing a Little Louder is, about a, is a true story of this boy, this young man, whose church was next to train tracks. And every Sunday at the same time, trains would go through, packed with Jews and others to their death destination. One day, the train breaks down. And the minister inside starts singing louder and louder to, cry, to drown out the cries of those Jews inside these cabins. And this is what our church is doing today. They're singing louder and louder to drown out the cries of the Middle Eastern Assyrian Christians. We're trying to send a message that the church must sing louder in harmony with the persecuted brothers and sisters, not to suffocate their voices. Byron, I'm talking to you and to your listeners, to your audience. I am the voice of the voiceless. People have been calling me for the last two days from Syria weeping, or their family members here in America weeping, saying, Juliana, please do something. Go to the administration. Go to our friends, Christian friends, do something. We've been going to the administration. We've been going to Congress. Nobody's helping us as they should. <laughs> I, that's the biggest mystery, I think, in this whole situation. Our world leaders seem to be confused or not understanding the clear directive that needs to be taken. Yes, the silence is deafening. And all we have to do is to look back and see how the world remained silent as Hitler started gaining more power and mesmerizing people to his way. And we're falling in the same trap. How many Europeans and Americans are falling into the trap of ISIS and they're going abroad to fight? There are thousands of Christian and Yazidi women who are now being sold in sex slavery throughout the Middle East. Children, Byron, as young as one, are worth between $174 to $66,000, depending on the ethnicity, the hair color, the eye color. As they grow older, what body shape they have. They have made an enterprise, Arab men. Muslim men have made an enterprise of this sex trafficking and it's unfolding in front of our eyes and it's an, ab an abomination. It's an atrocity. It's atrocious how the church is silent. Okay, now you, you mentioned about the supplies going into Syria and into the Syrian Christians. Uh, and it's an awesome thing. Now, are, do you have trouble? Are there, are there times when those <coughs> those items are sidetracked by, you know, militants yes. or things? You have to we send money to Iraq. Uh, we have not started working in Syria because we, as you know, it's a terrorist a com a country. And we haven't found a way of sending money in there yet. But we're actively seeking ways to do that. Majority of our uh, help has gone to Iraq and some in Iran, uh, some in uh, Lebanon, excuse me. Uh, we send the money to Erbel and Dohok, to two organizations that we work with, Assyrian Aid Society, and also St. Catherine of Siena Dominican Order. As I say that, these are Catholic nuns that we support. They are helping Yazidis, 
all denominational Christians, 60,000 of them. There are 32 nuns supporting 60,000 ecumenical Christians. This is not, this should not be a Catholic issue. This yeah. should not be a Protestant issue. Byron, how many times evangelicals have closed the doors in my face because I'm a Catholic? But at the same time, how many evangelicals have wept with me and have supported my organization to help the Catholics and evangelicals and Baptists on the ground in Iraq. It is important for body of Christ to yes. come together. You, you, just, you just hit it right there. All denominations coming together is the body of Christ. I mean, it was back yes. in, in the, just prior to Hitler's time, if you remember, that uh, there was one, I don't, the story goes, somebody says, you know, when they came for, you know, the Jews, I didn't stand up because I wasn't a Jew. When they came for, and they started, he starts naming all these particular people groups you know, and when they came for them, I didn't stand up because I wasn't one of them. And when they came for me, it was too late because yes. there was nobody there to stand up for. Exactly. exactly. So we've got to stand together. Absolutely. <laughs> There's so much we can do together. Uh, please visit our website, IraqiChristianRelief.org, IraqiChristianRelief.org. Please like our Facebook page. Uh, follow us on uh, at uh, Twitter, on Twitter at Iraqi Christian. And... If you want us to come screen the Sing a Little Louder movie, it's just a 10-minute movie, but it's so powerful. Whoever has seen it, we've screened it here twice. We're going to have another screening in a little bit. People are left speechless. People want to see more. They say it's too short. You need to make it longer. And we can do that. We can come in. We can give this 45-minute presentation. We have 35-minute presentation. Please stand united. We need a lot of money to address, to help these people sustain themselves in Iraq, in Iraq and now Syria and Lebanon and Jordan. Because there are about a million Assyrian Christians who are displaced today since 2003. Also, we need to, uh, uh, we need to get involved politically. I'm an, an organization which I cannot lobby. I have a 501c3 status. But I encourage people to write to their state reps and encourage them and ask them plainly, plainly, what are you doing to protect the Christians of Iraq? Where is this? Why are we not sending enough aid to them? And if you are sending aid, my brothers and sisters, believe me when I tell you there's so much corruption. It is your tax dollar money that U.S. aid is sending to Iraq. There's no accountability. The majority of accountability comes through organiza smaller organizations like mine, like Samaritan's Purse and others that know who is being helped. We see the people's faces we're helping. We have their names. If they have a cell phone still, we have their cell phone number. If they don't have a cell phone number, we know which center they're living in. So the, I, I can't tell you enough how great the need is. We need international protection. Demand the U United States Congress to provide international protection for these people. Their milita Christian military that is forming in Syria and in Iraq, they need to be equipped, they need to be trained not to be sent to a slaughterhouse. There are a small number of them that want to fight. They, they are salt of the earth, but the salt of the earth will be massacred if they're not equipped appropriately. Yes. Juliana, this has been heartbreaking really has been heartbreaking but you know we, we we can't run from the truth yes the truth is and we live by the truth because we know the truth giver is our savior the lord amen. jesus christ amen and out of his mercy and out of his compassion that motivates us to move toward your people and and to go to that website as you mentioned uh which is again iraqi christian relief.org iraqi christian relief.org or sing louder movie.com also, there's a very good organization I work for. I'm a volunteer at Iraqi Christian Relief Council, but I'm a fellow at an organization called the Philos Project. Philos is P-H-I-L-O-S project dot org. Philos Project is a, a, an evangelical, or, it's a Christian organization that grooms the leaders of tomorrow to understand the issues that deal with Israel and issues that deal with the Middle Eastern Christians and grooming these young men and women to be ready to go out there as great statesmen, as people in the media, as writers, to stand united and understand the complexity of the region and help. So Philos Project is a fantastic... So the reason I bring up Philos Project is that we as activists must come together. It's been a blessing as an individual with Iraqi Christian Relief Council to unite with Philos Project. I wish more and more groups like ours would come together because as all of us 
as sticks come together in one bunch, it's hard to break those it's sticks. It's hard to break. Yes. It's hard to break. So I invite for activists to even contact us. Well, Juliana, thank you again for the divine opportunity we had to share together today. Thank you. Amen. Uh, I thank th- you, that you, walked up to me, and it was just, it was that quick, you know? It was. But I th- came in tears. I, w- I had wept, and I came to you, and I said, I don't care what he thinks of me. I just walked up to you, and I, and I because it's not my issue. I'm the voice for the voiceless. Yes. Well, I just sensed our hearts. I just sensed the, the brokenness in your heart. That's why I gave you a hug because yes, I just sensed that I you. just sensed that God was had melted your heart and you just needed a, a word of encouragement. And I hope yes. that this program will encourage our listeners to respond. And again, go to the website, IraqiChristianRelief.org, IraqiChristianRelief.org. And uh, if if folks want it to possibly screen this movie, this this uh, documentary uh, in their area, go to the website for information to do that? Yes, uh, the website for that movie. We will have it on Iraqi Christian Relief as well, uh, where people can donate. But the movie's website is singloudermovie.com, singloudermovie.com. All right. Well, friends, that's all the time we have on this edition of Mid-South Viewpoint, coming to you uh, from the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Nashville at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel. That's all the time we have on this edition of Mid-South Viewpoint. For Bot Radio Network, I'm Byron Tyler. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. God bless you and your God listeners. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.